I opened a PR for my Playwright framework and as you can see Claude has provided me a revision in my PR. As you can see he has found or it has found <laughs> a critical issue over here, right? Also uh, you can see the summary over here, here is a critical issue and a minor one and also Claude provided me with the solutions for them. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up Claude revisions for your PRs. Before we start, please subscribe and hit the like button. It is going to be a lot of help for my channel. Thank you very much. Then I want to shout out Murat. I have found this tool because of a LinkedIn, LinkedIn post from him. Thank you very much. And then I wanted to invite you to the Automation Star Conference. This is going to happen in Amsterdam, 10 and 11 November 2025. I have a discount code. So if you want to know more details, please just uh, type it in the YouTube section comment and I'm gonna provide it to you and I just wanted to invite you and I hope to see you there so a quick recap of what is the cloud code action it is a general general purpose cloud code action for github PRs and issues that can answer questions and implement code changes so uh, here is the solutions and use cases so we can make automatic PR code reviews if you want to uh, we can specify the path uh, for specific reviews. I'm gonna show you that in a few seconds. Uh, we can implement an external contributor reviews if we want to, schedule maintenance and so on. You have a lot of interesting tools to implement if you want to, all right? Also, I'm gonna uh, provide you with the link in the, in the video description, but there is a, mm, like a guideline. Let me show you this. This is, this is it, the solutions guide over here. If I open it, you're gonna find a beautiful readme with a lot of use cases that you can implement, okay? So for instance, if you want a uh, scheduled repository maintenance, here is the, the, the thing that you have to implement. So I'm not gonna spend so much time here because I have implemented my own thing and I'm gonna explain you step by step what is happening in my Jamil file, but this is interesting and here is the solutions documentation if you want to take a look at it for sure. Okay, masters, uh, I want to show you the Jamil file. It is going to be located under the .github workflows folder. That's the standard um, place where we store our Jamil files, right? And as you can see, the name of this is Playwright PR Review. Uh, it is going to happen on pull requests, basically. And I'm going to specify that I want this review uh, under the paths, playwright, and all the stuff that is behind it. Then I have the jobs, and I only have one in this case, the playwright review. <laughs> I know, I'm super original. <laughs> and then I have some stuff here that I want to explain you, all right? So first of all, it is going to run on Ubuntu latest the environment is PR action. I just created a, a particular environment to save my actions, and this is the place where it lives. The permissions is content read, pull request write, and ID token write. This is important because it is not going to work if we don't specify that. This is also in the solutions that MD5, uh, documentation that I just showed you before. And also here in the steps, well, basically, I need to check out the, the code. Then I'm going to use the Anthropic cloud, uh, cloud Code Action V1. I need to set the Anthropic API key. This is important. You need an API key and you need to, uh, uh, well, build at least $5 to work with this. That's the problem. But as, as, as you see, I love you so much, Masters, and I pay $5 to show you how it works. So please hit the like button. <laughs> also, I added the, the track progress here um, in true. This is important and this is an extra configuration that I added, but I wanted to enable tracking comments. So yeah, that's the thing that I wanted. And also masters, this is the most important part, the prompt. In my case, I wanted to tell the prompt to basically scan my repository, the PR number uh, request number, basically the one that I'm opening and it is gonna modify critical playwright files. And I just set some basic rules because this is for demo, but you can be more specific and make sure that you want the PR to review what you really want to check. In my case, I just wanted to provide the playwright best practices, code quality, code structure, structure and code readability, right? I also added this note, the PR branch is already checked out 
uh, and also post detailed playwright findings as PR comments. There are a couple of details that you also need to set up masters and the first one is to set up the environment secret and tropic api key this is essential because you need an entropic key to get this working and also you're gonna need to install the cloud github application over here this is the link you're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna provide this in the in the description of this video you can find the link over there if you haven't installed it yet, you're gonna have a, uh, well, I'm not sure if something like install here, but in my case, it is already installed. This is the repository access. And here I specified that I just wanted to let the cloud application to read this particular repository, which is the one that I'm gonna show you in a few seconds, okay? I have done a couple of silly changes in my code base, but I want to see how the cloud action works with this, okay? First of all, I added an unnecessary comment over here, and then I changed the, the, this particular method from load to loads. So it was a kind of typo that I added intentionally, but I want to see how it works and how the the review and the feedback is all right so let's do it let's let's start opening a pull request in github so i'm gonna go here to the pull request i'm gonna up, uh, click on new pull request uh, this is the cloud pr branch that i have for uh, for testing and i'm gonna create the pull request now as you can see in the file changed uh, um, oh i also did something else masters i'm sorry i changed the username data that I have in a fixture in a JSON file from test user to test user PR. I'm not sure what is going to happen with that. Okay. I assume that the PR is not going to complain about it because at the end it is just a data change, right? But yeah, that's something else that I have done. So now in the actions part, I'm going to come here to the cloud PR. I'm going to open it and let's see what is going on. Okay. You can see that the action is in progress and while well, it is doing some 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 stuff <laughs> now it is just a matter of time until we have a new comment in the pr you can see the magic happening here masters you can see the playwright code review in progress and the cloud icon over here in like loading <laughs> okay so you can see here what is happening conducting a focus playwright uh, review uh, it has some tasks. So first of all, it was able to read and analyze the change playwright files, then review against the playwright best, best practices, check code quality and structure, and provide detailed findings and recommendations. So here is the review summary. There are some changes made. It recognized the test data JSON change. Also, uh, the two modifications that I have done to this file, the first one is an unnecessary comment. <laughs> and then uh, the change of the method, okay? And here's the detailed findings, critical issues, potential breaking change uh, of the method, okay? So the impact here is that this appears to be a typo that will likely fall, that will likely cause test failures. That's correct. The recommendation here is verify the correct method name in the page object and, well, basically fix it. Then we have a code quality issue, unnecessary comment. And this is the comment that I just enter for testing purposes, okay? And then um, here we have a test data naming, okay? And basically uh, the, it, it, the recommendation here is consider if this change is intentional or if it should use an environment specific test data, that's correct. And also, well, it highlighted the positive aspects. That's cool. And here is the areas for improvement. OK, so uh, oh, this is interesting. Consider using environment variables for test data instead of hard coded JSON. That's correct. Yeah, that's something that we should do. Well, for some reason, it is not uh, providing the automated actions to do the, the code changes. OK, it happened to me in the last peer review. Let me show you this because in my old and closed, I was able to see this proposed change by cloud automatically change the load method because that's something that I needed. And also, uh, well, delete the unnecessary comment. This is interesting, masters. 
I'm not sure why it didn't didn't do the same recommendation and code uh, automated code fixes out right now. Let me investigate for a few seconds. In the meantime, while I was reviewing the root cause of these masters, um, you can see here in the action, right, um, in a specific report of what is happening. And at the end, you can see the cost of this. All right, this is the cost of this particular PR, and this is the duration. So this is interesting. Uh, this is an interesting data uh, provided by them. Okay, masters, let me show you what I did. Um, I basically added a comment in the, well, in the code review from Claude, and I asked about why <laughs> you didn't implement the changes for the critical areas for, of improvement, right? So I re-executed again the job, and Claude sa is saying, you're absolutely right. I should have implemented the critical fixes I identify. Let me address those issues now. So the tasks are in progress, and as you can see, well, the fixes are done. It is committing the changes and pushing the changes automatically. And as you can see, here is the fix. Hmm. All right, that's another another approach that it did automatically, to be honest, because in the last approach, I was able to just verify the changes and commit them if I wanted to. In this case, Claude is doing it automatically. <laughs> All right, so if I come here to my uh, GitHub um, repository and I check the the last commit, let me see. Do, 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 do. This is fix all resolve critical playwright issues. Uh, it did automatically the changes of the uh, well the load, right? The unnecessary comment and the test data mm, change that I did. Hmm. I didn't like this approach. To be honest, I would love to have a, um, like the option to do the thing if I want to, but it is probably something from my side. Probably it is something in my prompt that I just have to enhance and always have the same results. It's probably a prompt engineering problem from my side. So I'm not worried about it. So yeah, this, this was the first touch uh, with this action masters. I hope that you see the a good value in it i hope that you can hit the like button thank you for your constant support and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much masters see you later